Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. 986 days less the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Ukraine's Defense Minister Rustem Umero, in an interview with Korean media KBS, confirmed previous media reports that the first small-scale clash with North Korean troops took place on the Kursk front, reports LB. In particular, Umero confirmed that Ukrainian troops had their first clash with North Korean troops but said that it was a small clash and that enemy troops would need more time to fully deploy on the Kursk front. He called the event a small skirmish. The exact number of casualties or prisoners needed to be verified before an accurate statement can be made. According to the minister, five divisions will be formed in the northeast, east and southeast, each with around 3,000 troops spread over about 1,500 kilometers on the front line. The North Korean troops are expected to be fully deployed on the battlefield after the exercises, which Umerov said will begin within the next 10-15 days and end within a few weeks. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky said in his evening video address that the first battles with North Korean soldiers opened a new page of instability in the world. Quote, Together with the world, we must do everything to make this Russian step to expand the war, to really escalate it, to make this step a failure. Unquote. Meanwhile, the foreign ministers of the G7 countries expressed their serious concern on Tuesday regarding the deployment of North Korean troops in Russia, reports European Pravda. They are currently collaborating on a coordinated response to address this situation. In addition to G7 members, the United States, Japan, Italy, the United Kingdom, Germany, France, Canada and the EU, the statement was also endorsed by South Korea, Australia and New Zealand. The ministers also said they are deeply concerned about the potential transfer of technologies related to nuclear weapons or ballistic missiles to North Korea. They reaffirmed their commitment to supporting Ukraine and stated that they are working with international partners to formulate a coordinated response to this new development. We would really appreciate if you could rate us ideally with 5 stars and leave a glowing review in the app where you are listening to this podcast, Apple Podcasts, Spotify and others. This really helps more people to find out about the highlights from Ukraine and truth about Russia's invasion. Igor Palagnyuk, commander of the training department at the Ground Forces Command, disclosed an estimated cost of training a single rifleman in the Ukrainian army, reports Novenarnia. According to Palagnyuk, it costs around 200,000 grivna, about 4,800 US dollars. This sum includes the cost of uniforms, ammunition and other necessities. Recently, Ukraine extended the duration of the basic general military training program, which has increased from 30 to 45 days. Training a soldier who acquires a specialized skill after the basic training, such as a machine gunner, costs the state an additional 100,000 grivna, or about 2,400 US dollars. In total, a trained machine gunner costs 300,000 grivna, 7,200 US dollars. Prosecutor General's Office of Ukraine informed that Russian forces captured and executed six Ukrainian military servicemen during the week beginning 23rd October, reports Ukrainska Pravda. Reportedly, on 23rd of October, Russian forces captured three Ukrainian servicemen during an offensive against positions of the Ukrainian armed forces near the town of Selidove, Donetsk Oblast. Shortly afterwards, the occupiers executed the unarmed prisoners of war. On 1st of November, during an assault on Ukrainian fortifications, also on the Pokrovsk front, Russian forces captured another three Ukrainian soldiers, who were subsequently killed with automatic weapons. The prosecutor's office stressed that the killing of prisoners of war constitutes a severe violation of the Geneva Conventions and is classified as a grave international crime. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast. We are a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.